So this is our first video in our 45 Arduino sensors series. We are going to go through the 45 and one sensor kit that I purchased from AliExpress. And we're just going to pick a random sensor each video and basically attempt to get that up and running. So here is our box of sensors. And for today, we're gonna start with this one. Now, to be honest, I'm not even quite sure what this is. It's an LED of some sort. So first, we're gonna have to do a little bit of searching to figure out what this is. So here's a close-up of the component we are going to connect today. And there's not a lot of clues on this. Sometimes you can find some sort of component ID, but I don't see anything on there that's going to help. Now, it does have that text there, CNT5. So we'll start there. All right, so I'm just gonna open up a new tab and I'm looking for an Arduino component. So let's just look at the images and see what we can find here. Now, I do not see one that looks exactly like ours. No, not quite. Now actually this one is in the kit, so we can take note of that one for later. All right, so I can add to that LED. So we're getting closer here. There, so this one looks quite similar. So it looks like it is a seven color flashing LED. I just took a quick look through our other components and we do have a couple similar items. Now, none of those look more like the seven color LED. And if we go back to our store where I purchased the sensors, I do not see anything specific about a seven color LED module, but I do see a three color one. So let's see what these look like. Nope, that's not what we have. I have seen that one in our box of sensors, so that's good to know for later. So I don't think it's a three color LED. Could be a two color LED module. Let's see what those look like. <laughs> no, it's not that one but I have seen that one in the box as well. So we're figuring out what everything is except the one I'm looking for. I have a flashing LED module. There, okay, that is what ours looks like. So this is what I think we're dealing with. All right, step one, success. So let's see if we can find a basic example of how to connect that. Now it looks like from that code that I don't treat it much differently than a regular LED attached to a pin. Now again, I am seeing a lot of indication here that it's not just a flashing LED, but a seven color flashing LED. Okay, so next, using the resource we found, we're just gonna create a basic circuit. So I'm gonna put our LED in here. I'm gonna pass, connect our ground pin to pin 13, our negative pin to 12, and our control pin to 8. 
to pin 11. All right. So if we upload our code and test, And now if I copy the starting code here, go to my editor, paste that in, and test. Okay, so our code is uploaded, but I'm not seeing any flashing lights on the Arduino. So let's just try a couple things here. Um, 11 is our control pin, so I'm pretty sure that needs to stay. Now, the resource suggests putting our ground in 13 and our positive in 12. Now, I don't see why those need to be pins. So let's just connect our positive directly to the 5 volts and our ground directly to the ground pin. And still nothing. Um, also, we could try, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that the left pin is our control. Uh, let's try switching here our ground and our positive. Oh, and there we go. Now, I don't even have the positive in right now. So I guess we don't need the positive at all. Uh, if I connect it, I'm guessing nothing's going to change. So I'm getting a result with or without the positive wire. Now this also says it's a seven color LED. So if we change this to five seconds and test, okay, so it's on and now it's off. So the colors, it looks like the seven colors happen automatically as long as the light is on long enough. So I can take out that 15 second delay at the beginning. And then just clean this up a little bit. And I'm no longer using the pins other than the control pin so I can take the positive and negative pins out. I'm not sure if there's a benefit to using pins over just the regular 5 volt and um, ground pin. All right, so let's check just get the bare minimum in here for this to work and we will test that out again. So now five seconds on and five seconds off. It might be a little hard to tell on that camera, but it is flashing different lights. It's kind of showing up red every time. Maybe if I just direct it. And let's just do a quick search to see if I can control the color. So I'm working with a seven color LED. Let's see if there's any way I can choose the color. So I believe we tried that first one. Now that is not the seven color LED. Uh, and based on this key point here, it looks like the logic to cycle through the seven different colors is automatic. OK, 
Okay, so it looks like that is kind of the bare minimum we need, again, to just to kind of confirm that the, the code and the component are working together. So over the next series of videos, this is basically what we're looking to do, is just choose a component and get it working with the most bare minimum amount of code.